That's the essence of sanctions by the United States, and that's why they're so powerful around the world, and, and countries tend to follow American sanctions, because what the United States Treasury does when it designates foreign entities is saying that they and people that do business with them can't have access to the U.S. financial infrastructure, and because almost all uh, global finance goes through the United States at some point along the chain, uh, most countries and companies decide, you know what, we're going to follow these sanctions because we can't untangle ourselves uh, from the U.S. financial infrastructure globally. And so that's the, that's the real power. It's the strength of the, America's financial muscle around the world uh, that gives these sanctions some real teeth. And so what you're seeing here, uh, first of all, is some, some teeth being pulled, right? So there are some exemptions here for major countries to continue to do business in terms of oil with Iran. China, number one on the list, read by Secretary Pompeo, but also India, Italy, Greece, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Turkey granted those exemptions to continue to do some kind of oil business uh, with Iran. A lot of those EU countries uh, not included on that list, and they were asked about that. And we saw the Treasury Secretary, Secretary Mnuchin, highlighting the fact that there are more than 700 individual entities aircraft and vessels uh, along with individuals uh, that are designated here uh, and that means that the, anybody doing business with them is going to have a very tough time uh, conducting transactions in the U.S. financial system. 300 of those designations, Mnuchin said, are new targets. Uh, and then, of course, you saw the controversy over the president's Game of Thrones tweets uh, was the first question that was asked of the officials. A, a reporter asked if that uh, Game of Thrones-inspired uh, uh, image was appropriate by the president on Twitter. And we saw the Iranian side responding to it with their own Game of Thrones image uh, over the weekend. There you see the one uh, tweeted out by the president of the United States uh, on Friday. Uh, and Pompeo didn't really address it. He just said that this is the kind of thing um, that people in Washington, D.C. get all wrapped up in, uh, of course, not mentioning the fact that it was the president of the United States who put that out on Twitter in the first place. So a lot there to chew over, guys.